Okay, Robbie here, Dodgy Garage, Mobile DPF Cleaning. This morning we're looking at a Renault Traffic, um, and it's actually a Nissan, the Nissan motor. And um, with these vehicles, it's usually, let me go straight to it there, it's this guy here, upstream of the turbine pressure sensor. We're going to be getting in there a little bit uh, later. There's a little tube that uh, is right at the back there. Um, that little tube over there gets blocked up. I don't know if you can see it. Either way, I'll show you in a minute. We're going to just get into the vehicle. Um, I've already dialed in. And we're going to look at some information. Okay, so on the scanner, Boost pressure and manifold pressure is at 1,017 millibar. You'd expect it to be about 1,020, 1,040, which is atmospheric pressure. And then as you rev and decelerate, you expect to see those pressures going up and down uh, quickly, um, instantly, and not slowly. When that little pipe that I've just showed you is blocked, obviously, it uh, doesn't allow the air pressure to get to the sensor and so therefore it uh, messes around. Okay, then particle filter differential pressure. We'll look at that. Uh, the soot content is quite high. Time since last regeneration in seconds. Water temperature, the engine's still cold. So let's just look at that pressure. I'm going to start the vehicle up. Okay, it's now gone to 117 and it's climbing slowly 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 to 130 32 when you rev it and release it's very very slow that should instantly go up and down so let me show you there when you rev it it should instantly go up and down and it's not it's uh, taking a lot of time that's an indication that that little pipe is blocked so we're going to unblock it. The differential pressure there, 15 HPA, 16. It's a little bit blocked, but not too bad. Uh, typically, you want that between 0 and 10. Um, so let me show you what it looks like to get into that little pipe. Okay, so I've just taken the electrics off the top there. It's dark in here. Then there's this little clamp clip that goes on the side of this little pressure pipe. Oh, bugger. It's a bit dark. And then um, I'll get that sensor out in a second. It's a bit dark in there. Okay, so let's have a look there. I've just taken this little sensor with its little rubber pipe off that little steel pipe. And it's inside that little steel pipe that I'm going to be putting some fluid to loosen up the carbon that's in there and then I will be using this cable believe it or not use this cable put it down that pipe um, and uh, you've got to just keep on drilling with it until all that carbon comes out and you've got to get this uh, cable to go all the way down to where the turbo is okay so what I've got here in the back of the van is uh, some launch DPF cleaning fluid and what I do is with this syringe I get a whole lot of this fluid in this little syringe and I then push it down that little tube uh, radio just get that like that push it get it there and then what I do is come over to the vehicle and I'll push it down that tube. Okay, so I've got this little drill and at the end of the drill I've got a little bit of cable and the cable goes into, you can see there, into that pipe and you've just got to spin and drill and drill and drill until eventually that cable goes through. There's a small um, bend at the end of that pipe and that's where it blocks up. In fact, I've got a spare pipe, I'll show you. In the back of the van here, what it looks like. Here's the pipe, 
this is the pipe let me put it over here so you can see it that's the pipe and that, that's the cable that you've got to get through the pipe i'm up over here and then you go around there at this corner here this is where it blocks up so you've got to get it clear there's no alternative you've got to keep on drilling and i've put the chemicals down there to help soften up the soot um, it will soften it will come clear um, just got to keep going so that's it. Okay, so the next thing is I've got my pressure gun there and it's connected up to the pipe down there and I'm just going to start the engine, get it idling and then push the fluid in. Okay, so that's it and push it in. Okay, so that's it. Fluid's inside. We're waiting for half an hour. I'm just going to pack up all of this, reconnect the uh, pressure sensor onto that pipe um, I'll show you what that looks like Okay, and there you have it We're all connected just trying to get the lights correct and move this torch around There we go The sensors back in Connected to the pipe over there It's all clear. We're all good to go Just got to wait for that half an hour and then do some resettings on the scan tool Bring it up to temperature and then we should be good to go. Okay, so we're back in the vehicle um, and we've got their check, a uh, check tire pressure sensor, but that's not the one. It's got uh, engine failure hazard. There we go. Um, but we'll sort that out in a minute. In the meantime, um, we're just going to go back, show you the fault codes, read DTCs. And there we got it 200292 clogged. Uh, 145364 turbine upstream pressure sensor circuit below minimal level so that's been sorted and then always engine oil dilution implausible signal and then obviously again particle filter outside tolerances so what we do is we're going to clear fault memory uh, that's correct. Engine on, uh, engine ignition on, engine stopped. That's all cleared. And then we've got to go back to data stream and then bring up the relevant information that we want to look at. Okay, but before we go to uh, read data stream, we're just going to go to special function. Um, Adaptives after replacing particular filter because we're going to reset everything to zero. Ignition on, engine stopped, okay. Command and progress, this takes a bit of a while. Okay, and command finished, okay. That's it for this particular screen. Then we go back, um, read dot stream and bring up the guys that I want to look at. Okay, so it's time to start her up. Um, and what we're interested in here is manifold pressure. We want to see that that goes up and down quickly and correctly. Manifold pressure, and let's have a look there. Manifold pressure. Boost pressure. Okay, they're not going up and down and working as correctly as I would like to see. I rev it up a bit. Well, it is dropping. It is back down to zero. No, that's fine. That is actually working fine. That's perfect. Right. Next thing is is particle filter pressure, as you can see here. Um, at idle it is now at 143 and that's because the fluid is in the DPF and so I'm going to bring the revs up to just under 3 or just around about 3 and keep it try and keep it steady and at these engine revs we want to see the pressure reduced down 
to uh, the rest, keep on climbing. We want to see the pressure reduced down to between 40 and 80 millibars. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. It's difficult to keep these vehicles at one uh, engine revs, one consistent engine revs. Okay, I've managed to get it to just stick at more or less that engine speed and the pressure went out 140-ish. Gotta wait for that engine to warm up a bit because it's still very cold. Go back to data stream and water temperature we're at 49. So we want to wait for that to get up to around 78, 88, around about there. Okay, so after a couple of minutes of keeping the vehicle, trying to keep it around just below 3,000, around 3,000, we now have uh, 34 over here, this guy. Uh, millibars, HPA millibars, same thing. You want that between um, 40 and 80, so that's spot on. At idle, you want it between 0 and 10. So we're at 4, 5 HPA millibars. So that's absolutely spot on. Also, manifold pressure at idle, 0 0.34 millibars. When you rev it up, you want to see that it goes straight up. And when it decelerates, come straight back down. which is what it's doing. So that's absolutely spot on. The pressures are spot on. Um, we're just waiting for the last one here. Temperature to go above 75. I mean 78. We want it past 78. And then believe it or not, I'll do a couple more checks, but I think we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so uh, I've uh, reset everything that I possibly can. Back to the boost pressure. We rev it up. It goes straight up when you decelerate it goes straight back down again that's working properly gas temperatures are cool at the moment particular filter pressure at idle is six that's absolutely fantastic and the water temperature has been up to 77 and a half it's come down a bit so thermostats working fine and uh, outside ambient air temperature is working fine no more fault codes and then this customer is just going to take this van for a test drive. And um, that's it. All, for, all sorted, all good. Good to go. That's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one.